This is another edition of the Sunday Showdown Sit Down with me, Tom Gamble, creator and organizer of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown, presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer. Yes, I know it's Monday, one day after when we are supposed to air this weekly podcast, which is a preview of the upcoming week with Skyline Chili, some of the pep rallies, and of course our Crosstown Showdown as we celebrate the 25 year anniversary of the nation's best high school football that we believe is anywhere in the country. But we needed to pause a day and really pay proper respect to the, the heartbreaking loss of, of one of the, of our own in the high school football community here in greater Cincinnati, the passing of Lakota East graduate, a 2022 graduate, and a current freshman football player at Indiana State University, Caleb Van Hooser, who was killed in a one-vehicle accident. He was among three persons who died early Sunday morning in an accident in Riley, which is kind of near the Terre Haute campus in a, in a single-car accident. And, and certainly the, the thoughts and prayers from the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown family and the entire high school community go out to – Caleb's family, the Lakota East football family, and the school and community. And uh, we certainly, because we have Lakota East hosting Lakota West as one of our games in this week's Greater Miami Conference opening night in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Show. I'll get to those games momentarily, but certainly we, we want, like they will do on Friday evening, when both teams will come out of their locker rooms and they'll pay tribute to Caleb with a moment of silence and then a moment of applause, the way that that he would have wanted it to be shared on this football field where he loved so much. He was a two-way starter, a standout, who obviously was preparing to play for Indiana State University. So I know the entire high school football community, really a tight-knit group, sticks together and, and really will, will hope that this week – that they can get through it and, and and get on to doing what Caleb would have wanted his teammates to do. So we'll now take a look at what we've got. We had a, an outstanding first week in the Skyline Chili Crosstown show. Down a pair of games on our opening night on Thursday, a dominant performance by Taft and a victory over Roger Bacon, 32 to nothing. Tyler Williams has an outstanding, he had a great year last year. And, and as I talked to Gavin Crawford, the MVP after the game, he said, and I said, what's your goal? And he said, state. Taft has a shot. Fairfield made seven straight playoff appearances. Look like they're obviously primed for another run as the Indians. It was kind of a, a tight game between Fairfield and Huber Heights. Wayne, a little GMC G-Walk game. Fairfield wound up pulling away 41-24. to And then on Friday evening, we went to St. Leon, Indiana, where this annual kickoff in, in, in southeast Indiana, East Central Lawrenceburg and East Central won. In this one, and they did last year and the year before, and Lawrenceburg just goes on to run the table and make an extended run in the postseason. So best of luck to all those teams the rest of the year. Now, we had our kickoff of the pep rallies at Skyline Chili Restaurants last week as well, and we'll do that again beginning tomorrow night, Tuesday, when we go out to Bridgetown, the Bridgetown Skyline Chili, and Oak Hills High School, which opened with a victory. Justin Roden, in his second season, with the Highlanders, they had a win over Turpin last week. So you can imagine the excitement will be off the charts at the Bridgetown Skyline Chili. And we do these pep rallies. They start at 6 p.m. And we invite the bands. And sometimes it's a drum line, a pep band, or the entire marching band, cheerleaders, dance team, the entire football team. You know football guys want to eat some delicious Skyline Chili. And we do a lot of cool stuff. We have trivia contests. We have a lot of giveaways. We interview the coach. And 20% of the food sales from 6 to 8 during the pep rallies at the restaurants go back to benefit that particular high school. So a lot of fun expected as we have a Highlanders pep rally tomorrow night on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we'll go to the first ever pep rally we've done for the Indians of Norwood. Norwood High School right there at the Norwood Skyline Chili. Again, that starts at 6 o'clock. Chuck Richardson, the AD there. And, and I know it. And by the way, O'Kills opens GMC play at Sycamore. Norwood goes the Madeira Marymount. Marymount, excuse me, got to get that right. Uh, Marymount, Marymount. I go Marymount. So they will play Marymount this week. They lost to Madeira, did Norwood last week. 
So we have two pep rallies, Oak Hills Tuesday, Norwood Thursday. Then we have two games, a double dip in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown Friday night. It's the GMC opening night. And as I mentioned earlier, Lakota East will host Lakota West. Lakota West coming off a big victory late. They trailed the entire game until 21 seconds left. They defeated St. Xavier last week in what has become an instant classic. That series has become that. So Tom Bolden and his team take a 1-0 record against Lakota East. District rivals in this game, it doesn't matter. This is the earliest, to my knowledge, it's ever been played. It customarily was the last game of the GMC schedule, but because the GMC went to a nine-game schedule in terms of league play, now it's week one in the GMC, week two. Lakota East, a, a tough loss last week to Centerville in a close game, nine to seven. But Rick Haynes and the Thunderhawks, you know there's a lot of emotion. You know it'll be a difficult week, but I can assure you that they will be ready to play on Friday night against district rival West, which is one of the last few in this series. And a reminder, you want to check back here to the Twitter at X Town Showdown because we'll have Brady Labor and Scott Springer of Cincinnati.com. They will do team previews a little bit later in the week. We'll have a, a Mercy Health matchup on, on game day. So you want to check back for all that pertinent information and a lot of updates on anything and everything that is the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. So we also will be at Princeton. We'll be at Princeton High School for Cole Rain at Princeton. Cole Rain, a tough loss, 17-13 to to LaSalle last week. They held the Lancers to just over 100 yards of total offense, but were victimized by some turnovers. This is going to be a much improved Cole Rain team. Played a tough schedule last year. Most expect them to contend and, and contend until Lakota West. Cole Rain won every GMC title, and this is remarkable. Of course, Tom Bolin, Bolden was there for a number of these after Kerry Combs from 2000 up until two years ago when West has won the last two. Princeton expected to contend with Lakota West this year. Andre Parker coming over from Winton Woods, his first season last year, successful with the Vikings. They're loaded with talent. They put up 61 points in a victory at Anderson last Friday night. They're expected to be very explosive on offense, got a lot of playmakers. So this one could be a very exciting game as well. So two in the GMC, Lakota East hosting Lakota West and Princeton hosting Cole Rain. Both games in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer. Again, kickoffs are both at 7 o'clock on Friday night. So it's a big week. Week two in the showdown as we celebrate 25 years. We celebrate all those great players who have been a part of the showdown through the years. So let's review the week. Tomorrow night, Tuesday, we'll be at the Bridgetown Skyline Chili kickoff at 6 o'clock for a pep rally for Oak Hills High School. On Thursday, we'll be at the Norwood Skyline Chili, a pep rally for the Norwood Indians. Kickoff there, also 6 o'clock, and then two games on Friday night in the showdown, Lakota East hosting Lakota West and Colerain at Princeton on opening night in the GMC. So there you have it for week two of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. Right here, Twitter, at X-Town Showdown. For daily updates, some features like the Mercy Health Huddle, the Mercy Health Matchups. We'll have some Meyer memorable moments as we look back at some of the great moments in the history of the showdown. A reminder, Cincinnati.com, Scott Springer, and their crew, obviously every week, We'll be covering showdown games and Joe Daneman and Jeremy Rao on the final quarter. And they're taking a look back. They started last Friday night. Every Friday, they're going to unveil another top game in showdown history and also give a recap of the games from that night in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. In closing this week, I'd just like to ask every member of the high school football community here in this region to take a moment leading up to your game on Friday night, reflect on how much you enjoy playing high school football, players, coaches, families, being a part of, of this great game and this great community. And everybody involved with the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown, again, wants to send condolences to the family of Caleb Van Hooser and also the Lakota East football program, Rick Haynes, the athletic department, the school, and the community 
for such a tragic loss. And everybody on Friday night, enjoy, again, playing high school football. This has been the Sunday Showdown Sit Down with Tom Gamble.